homeowners have been forced to pay excessive maintenance costs on new estates in what one local MP has described as a 21st century blight. Helen Goodman, the Labour MP for Bishop Auckland, introduced a bill in Parliament this week aimed at stopping uncapped fees. And Helen joins me on the phone now. A very good evening to you, Helen. Hi. Um, what sort of problems are your constituents experience, experiencing in your experience? Um, well, unmade up roads is a big problem. Grass not cut, play facilities promised and not built, um, even street lighting not working properly, and at the same time being charged 100 quid, 150 quid, 200 quid, apparently for estate management. So it's a real scam, this. It's a real scam. Is this something that's just happening in County Durham or is this countrywide? nationwide i mean at first i thought it was just sort of like a couple of estates in my constituency but then when i looked into it more i discovered a group called hornets whose base is in newcastle and then i discovered that they had found that this was going on right around the country so we think that over a million people are affected by this problem how is this not picked up when you buy your house Shouldn't this be pointed out when you, before you sign or purchase your new home? Well, it should be. One of the problems is that sometimes on new housing estates, the developer recommends the solicitor for you to use. So the solicitor's really not independent, not acting for you. They've got a conflict of interest because they're also being promoted by the person who you're buying from. So that is one of the reasons why people don't know what's going on. So you've brought this bill to Parliament. What, what do you want to achieve from the bill? Are you going to drive this through? Well, what I want to achieve is that the estates are brought up to a proper standard, that the fees are regulated and capped, and that the agents who are so irresponsible, that the, that the, that the house owners can get rid of these horrible agents and self-manage themselves, which I'm sure they would do far better. Now, whether or not this bill goes through, uh, I don't know, because it's a 10-minute rule bill, so it's not like a private member's Mm. bill. But what I am hoping is that we've kicked off the campaign and that we get some momentum into it and that ministers realise they need to act so that next time they have a big piece of legislation, they include my bill in it. So you spotlighting this now, if, for instance, I'm thinking about buying a new house on an estate, are you flagging this up to me and say, check this out before you sign anything? Yeah, I am. I am. I would do that. Um, and I would, uh, I would uh, ask some tricky questions of the developer to try and, uh, to try and uh, avoid getting into this problem. This... It m- might, you might not be able to do it it may be that what we re- we really do need to change the law um because it's very difficult for one person to fight against these big you know multi-billion pound house builders like persimmon and taylor wimpy i mean these are the kind of organizations where the bonus of the boss is 75 million quid i mean it's a very david and goliath struggle i'm afraid Will you keep us up to date with how you get on? Definitely. Helen, thank you very much for joining us on BBC Tees. Helen Goodman, Labour MP for Bishop Auckland there.